In today's video, I will show you how you can sell on Amazon from literally anywhere in the world, regardless what anyone else says out there. So be sure that you stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon BA seller from beautiful San Diego. In today's video, I will show you exactly how you can sell on Amazon from literally anywhere in the world. Now, I know that is something that has been a conflict for many international sellers because I personally get contacted by literally thousands and thousands of different people from all over the world, you know, countries like uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, you know, Middle Eastern countries, you know, Asian countries that just simply cannot sell on Amazon because when you go on Amazon to try to create a seller's account, um, their countries do not pop up in the list where, you know, the list of countries where they can put in their address. And it's simple as that. If your country does not pop up on that list, then you cannot sell on Amazon. So I have found a work around that and I have found a solution because that is, you know, once again, it has always been a problem that I have never had a solution for, you know. It was either go find a partner that is, uh, you know, a U.S. citizen or that resides in a country that, um, you know, that um, allows selling on Amazon. And I know many of my students were doing it up until, you know, most recently. Either they would have, uh, you know, their their uh, partnership would break off or something would happen. And then there was always the banking issues, but then... That was resolved with having a Pioneer account. So what you would do is you would have a, uh, a U.S. citizen or let's say an Australian citizen or whatever, a uh, citizen of a country that you're trying to sell in, um, you know, create the account, create the corporation, and then you just have the, uh, the, the business account or you have a, um, the account, the banking account linked to your Amazon business linked to a Pioneer account. And then you can have that link to your, you know, directly to your uh, business or to your bank in your local uh, country. But that all is the past now. Now there is a solution for uh, sellers from international, you know, international countries or international sellers that can literally sell on Amazon from anywhere in the world and you don't need a partner. So what I'm going to do right now, there's a website that I um, have been referred to by a friend. Um, I am going to jump inside of my computer to show you guys exactly the two websites that you need to make that happen and how you can start selling on Amazon from anywhere in the world. All right, guys, so this is going to be a very quick video. Um, it's to the point. I'm not going to be putting any fluff or anything into it. So you need two different sites, right? You need a Pioneer, and then you need this other website that I'm going to be talking about shortly, Northwest Registered Agent. Now, I am putting the links at the bottom. So the first two links in my description, it is also going to be in the pinned comment. It's going to be to the Pioneer and to the uh, Northwest uh, Gate or to the Northwest Registered Agent. Sorry, not Northwest Gate. Um, so all you got to do is just click on those links. Um, it'll take you to these two websites. Two things that have to happen. The number one thing is that you need to create a Pioneer. Uh, I don't know if it's Pioneer or Pioneer. I don't know. Anyways, I always, you know, mess up the the, the pronunciation of this. But you get the point. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go to sign up here. And you need to create a U.S. Um, account with them and link it to your local bank account. So you do still have to have a local um, uh, banking, right? So I'm not sure if there's any countries out there that don't even offer banking, but if they don't, then that is going to be a problem. Otherwise, most countries I know of, um, you know, especially the countries that I have been contacted from where sellers were not able to sell on Amazon because their countries were not listed on the on the list, um, you know, they did have banking. So what you need to do is you need to create a, um, so I'm an online seller, that's where you go. Um, and then what you need to do is you need to create a, um, an account with them. And then from there, um, you link it to your, um, to your local, uh, bank, uh, banking, right? So you just got to go through the process. I'm not going to go through it here, but, uh, it, it does take a little bit of time, but it's definitely doable, right? It's not complicated, nothing at all. And then from there, once you have that done, I would honestly do that first. 
Now, once you have that done, then what you want to do is you want to create an account with Northwest Registered Agent, right? So what this is, it's pretty much it's going to provide you with a virtual address in the United States. Um, someone was telling me that you can create a, a, an address in any state. But from what I was reading here, it said the, um, you know, these were the, you know, what's what's um, what's available, right? What states that are available now that might be true. It might not be true. I'm not exactly sure, but it does cost $50 a month. That's something they need to understand that it does cost $50 a month, which is not terrible. I understand you're, you're going to say, well, I'm already paying $40 a month for Amazon. And then now another $50. Well, listen, you're either going to pay $50 a month or you're not going to sell. So you kind of have to make that decision. Well, do I make an extra, do I pay an extra $50 a month or do I just not generate any revenue at all? And look, I'm making multiple seven figures selling on Amazon. I have students making seven, six, five figures, you know, doing it part-time. So the potential is definitely there. So do you really want to miss out on this amazing opportunity just because you, you don't want to pay $50? Now in the beginning, it might sound a little hefty. It might be hefty a little bit. But once you start generating revenue, profits are coming in $50. Honestly, you're not even going to worry about it. But what I would do is um, first create the Pioneer, Pioneer, whatever it is. And then from there, you need to create an account here. So you just go to sign up and uh, get started. And you want to create a registered agent service. And that's what you want to do, right? Um, so once again, they're going to give you a virtual um, a virtual address in the U.S., in any state in the U.S. or whatever those three states were listed. And then you just go through the process. Once again, I'm not going to be showing the exact process, but that's just, you know, you just got to go through it, right? And then you link the two. You link this to the, to the uh, Payneer account. And then you register using whatever address you're going to get here on Amazon. So you're going to technically be a U.S. resident at, uh, selling on Amazon. And I would start with the U.S. That way you get Canada and Mexico. So all of a sudden, going from no accounts or no marketplaces to three different marketplaces. Because when you sign up for the North, North American, um, you get all three of them. You get um, U.S., Canada, and Mexico because those are the three available in North America. Um, and then from there, honestly, just go about it. Now, the one downside to this is that from my understanding, once again, I haven't created an account here, but from my understanding is that you cannot create a, um, it's got to be a sole proprietor, so it's not going to be a corporation. I might be wrong. Dig into it. See if that is a possibility. Um, go, uh, like right here where it says, uh, form uh, a new company. Once again, if you are a U.S. citizen, because of my understanding from what I know, is that you cannot create a U.S. company unless you have a social security number. And that is the one restraint that you are going to have in order for you to create a company. So what I would do is if you really want to create a corporation, which is not a must, but it's definitely you know recommended, if you are going to create... Now, in the beginning, I would just go sole proprietor. You can always change it to a corporation. Just to get you started, you know, get started, create a Pioneer account, create an account here, just sole provider, registered agent, um, and then go from there. Once you you have generated some sales, you know, your business up and running, and you're like, okay, well, now I'm making profits. I don't want to pay everything for taxes. What you want to do is you are going to then need to find a U.S. person. I would give them a small percentage because now their banking information isn't, you know, isn't needed anymore, Right. Before, you had to have them open the bank account for you, open the corporation for you, open the Amazon account for you, just kind of do the whole thing. Now, all you need them is just to create the corporation. But at least by the time you do find someone, you do have a business already started. You know what I mean? So this is definitely a better option than what you had before, what you had to work with before, because now you actually have a business that's vital, that's already running, they already got products in, you already got profits in, you already got everything. So what I would do is create an, a Payneer account, register um, agent, create an Amazon account, start selling for some time. Once revenue is kicking in, then go about creating, you know, finding a U.S. Uh, person and give them a small percentage, like one to five percent of your company to just use their name to create a company and just do like an LLC or uh, 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 or um, yeah, an LLC would be great actually, or you could do an S corp or something like that, but I would just go for an LLC. Anyhow guys, I really hope that this helped. 
this literally will give you the option to create a, um, a an account on Amazon without needing to find you a a person that will um, you know that 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 you need to have an account under you know what I mean so literally you can sell from anywhere in the world now on Amazon without having to have um, a US person or an Australian person or whatever the country that you're trying to sell in so this is definitely something you guys can get started with and just take it from there so guys once again the shark at two here Amazon be a seller from beautiful San Diego if you guys found this video helpful please consider subscribing to my channel um, also um, the links at the bottom in the description um, are going to be the links to that will take you to these websites to the Pioneer and to the Northwest so be sure to check out those two links um, aside from that guys um, I drop new videos twice weekly so if there's any topic you guys want to or want me to talk about please be sure that you guys drop it in the comment section below. Now, the question of the day, what exactly do you struggle with selling on Amazon? You know, is it creating an account? Is it sourcing out products? Is it finding a product? Whatever that is, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Aside from that, guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon MBA seller from beautiful San Diego. Be sure to consider subscribing to my channel. Give this um, video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and let me know your comments in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day and take care.